exactly 1935 years ago, Jesus was, was resurrected from the dead. He had been murdered by the clergy at the direction of the devil. To keep the people from learning that Jesus had been resurrected, the clergy bribed the watchman to say that the body had been stolen and taken away. The devil thought that he had finally disposed of Jesus, and knowing now that he had failed because of the resurrection of Jesus, his next effort was to keep the people in the dark. The reason, therefore, was this, that Jesus had declared just before his crucifixion that he would come again and set up his kingdom and destroy the devil and all of his organization, including the clergy. Since then, the devil has used clergymen to deceive the people, teaching them religion instead of the truth of the Bible. At this time of the anniversary of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the clergy take the lead in celebrating what they call Easter, which is another satanic scheme to blind the people concerning the real meaning of the second coming of Christ. In view of what has come to pass in Australia within the last few days, it seems the will of the Lord that this record should be made, that it may stand as a testimony against the opposers of God's kingdom and help good persons to find a way of escape. Because God has commanded that the people should receive warning at this time, his witnesses in obedience to that command attempt to give the warning. The speaker came to Australia for that very purpose. The opponents informed the people that he could not land. Then they notified the people that he could not speak if he did land. Public officials were induced to deprive the people of halls in which to assemble and hear the speech, and also from hearing the speech by radio. Several years ago, the hierarchy began to place their key men in all the newspaper offices of the earth and in the public offices in order that they might hold the selfish organization together and oppress the people and keep them in the dark as to the truth. This has been done at the instance of the devil, whether men know it or not. It is written in Revelation, the 12th chapter, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth, because the devil has come down to you, knowing that he hath but a short time. Among these walls placed upon the people is that of, that of oppressing them and keeping them from understanding the purpose of the law to destroy Satan's organization and to set up a righteous government on earth. In Sydney, to prejudice the people, the local newspapers repeatedly published lies, although furnished with the truth concerning the public address that was to be given. When 25,000 persons assembled in a public park to hear the message of the warning, the Catholic fascists sent their men to, to attempt to break up the meeting, while airplanes constantly flew over the speaker's stand. The Sydney Herald had agreed to publish the full text of the speech for the benefit of the readers, and had received the copy and the full pay therefor. When the time came for the publication, it was refused, and the officer in charge made this statement to witnesses. Every word of the speech is true, and other officials of this paper know that they are true, but cannot publish it. He said that he would be glad to know that some newspaper in Australia would have the courage to publish that speech, and personally he would be pleased to be associated with that paper. But because of the hierarchy's violent opposition, the Herald would not publish the speech of Judge Relative. It was not published for that reason. Shall the people of Australia submit to this unwanted opposition on the part of the hierarchy and the fascists in preventing honest citizens from learning the truth? Those who really want to know the truth will have to make some effort to get it. The Lord permits the opponents to go the full length of their power in order to test the integrity of men who want to serve him. Soon now, God will act in destroying Satan's organization that will be a time of great tribulation upon the earth. How will the people find a way of escape therefrom? If you knew a great storm was approaching, would you do anything to protect yourself and to notify other people? You will say, what can be done? What must we do? Hear the other side of this record and learn. Jehovah Paul knew exactly what would come to pass at the present time. And by his prophets, he gave instruction for the benefit of those who desire to find the way of escape. His prophecy recorded at Zephaniah chapter 2, verses 1 to 3 says, Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together yourselves, O nation not desired. Fascists and the hierarchy do not desire those persons who are honest and sincere and who serve God and want to do what is right. 
Such honest persons of goodwill toward God are the ones whom God instructs here to gather themselves together. When must they do so? God answers, before the decree bring forth, before the day passes the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, you must. the grave tribulation of Armageddon is about to come upon the earth. The trouble is brewing over every nation. What shall honest persons do at this time? Jehovah answers, Seek ye the Lord, all ye make of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. The meek of, of the earth are those who are anxious to learn what is right, and then they will put forth an effort to do that which is right. These are instructed to seek righteousness, which means that they will be diligent to learn what's the right way in harmony with the will of God. To seek meekness means to study God's word, the Bible, and the books which are provided for this day, and from which books you can learn just where in the Bible to find the great truths so necessary for you to hear and to learn at this time. Men wholly devoted to God and to the study of his word are endeavoring to get this information to the people of goodwill. For your own protection and safety, you should immediately provide yourself with the Bible helps mentioned. Ask the person who brings this record to your attention how you can obtain those books. The whole world is now in peril, and the day of the Lord's anger soon will break because it's time for the expression of his vengeance. When it does come, there will be no opportunity for you to learn the way of escape. You must learn that now, and when you have learned this way, it will be your privilege to transmit the truth thereof to others that they may also learn the way. Satan uses men to try to frighten you and to keep you from learning the truth and to prevent you from hearing or telling others the truth. But remember, the Lord has said to you, the fear of man leads into a snare. Also, he says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to your own understanding, and he will guide you in the right way. The following words are written in the scriptures for the benefit of those honest and sincere persons now on the earth who desire to know the truth, to wit. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he, Christ, is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment. He that fears is not made perfect in love. Those who love God and righteousness will be fearless and diligent to learn and to tell the truth. Jehovah God is all-powerful and all of his ways are right. And he provides protection and safety for those who serve him truly. It is written in the scriptures, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout all the earth to show his strength in behalf of them whose hearts are perfect toward him. If you yield to the cruel influence of Satan and his agents, you will lose everything. If you trust in God and Christ Jesus and exercise diligence to learn the truth and to seek righteousness, you will gain the blessings of everlasting life. Jehovah will minister such blessings to you through his kingdom under Christ Jesus which kingdom, after destroying Satan's organization, will immediately bring to earth everlasting peace, joy, and happiness. Awake, all you good persons of this land, and busy yourselves to learn of Jehovah's purpose towards you and find the way of safety.